Good evening, I'm Dylan Austin. And I'm Alexandra Carter. New at 10, officials say emergency resources were stretched thin in a tri-state town after a prank 911 call. It happened last night in Cahoka, Missouri. Police furious after the incident with a caller claimed that someone had been shot and needed help. WGEM's Brett Neese is back from Clark County after speaking with first responders. He's here with more. Well, Dylan and Alexandra, the Cahoka police chief says they have identified the juvenile suspect they believe made that fake call. Now they're trying to figure out if anyone else was involved. The Clark County Ambulance District already has thin resources. We're a rural county, uh, just like just like any other rural county around here. Um, our staffing is short already at times. And when a 911 call came in last night for a five year old boy with a gunshot wound, both crews loaded up their ambulances to respond. It did tie up all of our resources for more than an hour, uh, which left our county with no coverage, uh, no EMS coverage. And police say two other calls came in, causing first responders to run all over town here in Cahoka looking for that potential victim. We had a dispatcher that did a wonderful job, but she was crying. She was, you know, it's, it's very emotional for something like that to think that there's a five year old that, and he finally said, said, well, he's not breathing. So, I mean, there's, there's certain things that, that you know, is, is really, really emotional, that part. In addition to seven squad cars from both Cahoka Police and the Clark County Sheriff's Office, along with those two ambulances, AIRIVAC out of Fort Madison also came to Cahoka for the incident. The only problem, there was no real victim. Police say it was all a hoax that lasted over two hours. The resources, if was needed elsewhere, would have, would have been terrible. I mean, somebody could have died because it wasn't there. Police say they're handing over the case to the juvenile office in Clark County. First responders say while the hoax is aggravating, they are grateful it was just that because that meant a child was not actually hurt. Brett Neese, WGEM News. Okay, Brett, thanks so much. Cahoka police say prank calling 911 like in this incident can be charged as a felony. And this story continues tomorrow on WGEM News Today with how much a prank call like this can end up costing taxpayers. WGEM News Today starts at 5 a.m.